What's going on guys? It's Nick from DMG Lacrosse and I wanted to talk today a little bit on a not so great Friday with a lot of snow up in Boston, <laughs> but uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, DMG Mesh as a company and answer a little bit a couple of questions that uh, I've always been floating uh, in my inbox uh, as well as my YouTube uh, lately and uh, with most of the videos that I had out so far um, there's still a lot of people who ask me, you know, what is DMG Mesh? How did you start? Why is it different? Um, so I was just figured I'd get into all those. Um, uh, I'll just do them one by one. Hopefully you guys will just, you know, sit back, relax, watch this video. Um, not click off, but, um, you know, I started this about two years ago. And the main reason, um, I did was, you know, I saw... A lot of mesh on the marketplace, you know, um, I you could say maybe expensive. Uh, I saw two different versions that, for one reason, reason yeah, reason or another, um, just did, didn't sit well with me and my preferences and a lot of other preferences. Um, people were always like, uh, "Man, I I love ECM," or "Man, I don't," or "I love Throne," or "I don't." Uh, so I wanted to, I thought it would be nice, I'd say, man, let me see if I can create something in the middle and still make it affordable uh, for people. Um, because I do know that, I mean, every every kid that plays lacrosse has, you know, two or three sticks. Um, so for the price of maybe two pieces of mine, um, you could get, uh, well, let's just say for the money you would about to spend for maybe two pieces of, you know, some of the higher quality mesh that's out there, uh, or the big name uh, stuff, uh, you can get uh, all the mesh you need for all your sticks, uh, which I think is cool. Um, so when people ask me what, why is it different, or what, what makes it different, uh, I just have to go down the line. Each piece is done up individually. Um, you know, people will tell me how they want it. Uh, you know, I can tailor the wax uh, coating so that it's uh, either heavy, uh, very light, uh, in the middle. Um, so I'm able to do that, and I think that's really cool as well. That's a cool aspect. Um, another cool aspect of the mesh is that from the get-go, it's always been a non-flakeable, semi-hard sort of feeling. Not semi-hard sort of feeling, but it is soft. Um, you know, very just smooth going over. Almost feels like hard mesh, but it's not. It's, you know, as wax mesh. But it's just infused in there so well that uh, rain, shine, weather, snow, uh, complete cold, uh, it'll, ha it'll, it'll uh, handle in all those conditions, which is uh, super sweet. And that's why I think a lot of people like it, because I sell a lot of it, a hell of a lot of it, uh, to a lot of uh, kids and uh, coaches and teams uh, up in... Um, areas in Illinois and Chicago where they get a lot of wind and cold, uh, especially a lot down in Florida, um, uh, Maryland, uh, even out in the West Coast, California, Oregon, uh, Washington. Um, the hotbed this, uh, these days uh, has definitely been uh, Illinois, I'd have to say, if I look at all my uh, records and stuff. But, um, you know, just going down the line again, uh, what makes the stuff... Uh, what makes DMG mesh different than everybody else is that, um, like I said, I've always uh, it's uh, I've always wanted to make it price efficient, um, so that it is 33% less than uh, most of the other high end stuff. Um, comparable, I'll give you a, a, a comparison. My stuff for a piece of white you can pick up for $11 with a free stringing kit, uh, as opposed to some of the other companies where they're around 15. Uh, and you do have to pay for a kit, which is going to be anywhere between six and eight bucks. So you save the money right there. Um, and um, I think it's an affordable, like I said, affordable option for your dollar. You can get more mesh for your kids if you're a parent ordering. Um, the customer service is probably the top notch. Uh, what separates me from a lot of people, and a lot of people have commented on it. You know, every email that I, you know, get sent to me, I always give a prompt response. People are always asking me and saying to me, you know, Nick, I really appreciate your customer service. It's great. Um, you know, you do a great job of getting back to me. Um, 
you know, I can't thank you enough. And I get at those a lot. Um, and I think it's important. You have to be, uh, you know, you have to be nice to your customers or else they're not going to buy your product. Um, you know, sometimes customer service, good customer service, will sell a product that might not be great and it'll be just because they remembered your name. They remembered you were very nice to them on the phone. Not just that you hooked them up with some great stuff for a very cheap uh, price, but, you know, just that you took the time to, you know, really um, make them feel that, you know, they were important, and they are. Uh, the, pe the people that buy your stuff is always important. That's what I say to everybody. And I think the last thing that, you know, separates it is the Argyles and the color combos. Um, you know, through some other companies, you know, some of them are limited editions, you know, and I respect all that stuff, but, you know, I like to do a lot of designs year-round. You know, I do a lot of Argyles, striping, um, two color combos, one color combos, and they're available year-round, non-stop, so whenever you want them, you just ask and you get them. Um, so it's 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 a really cool option which DMG and I, I I've seen a lot of other companies arise after um, after mine I think started I don't know exactly when all the other businesses started but you know other companies like Red Star um, Top Notch Lacrosse uh, Relentless Stringing uh, other names I just been hearing um, you know um, I could name like ten more but it's just like so hard just rattle them off. Um, but they're all doing similar to the same stuff. They want to give you an affordable option for your money. Um, so it just comes down to what, what you like the best. And since they're all so affordable, you're able to just spend 11 bucks, buy a piece of mesh, see if you like it. Um, and you can end up buying 10 pieces for the price of what you'd normally buy two of. That's the way I look at it. I mean, more mesh equals more stringing you can do in your stick. Uh, and you can actually make some money on the side too by stringing other people's sticks by buying quantity of this stuff um, so uh, I mean uh, that, that's pretty much it you know um, I got some feedback on uh, some of the new ECM uh, uh, and I heard the ECM black was pretty good I heard it was uh, somewhat similar to what I'm doing right now uh, which is cool because uh, for a while uh, there was a little void in uh, the mesh making you know I was doing uh, some of my stuff and everyone kept asking, you know, is it like, is my mesh like ECM or is it like Throne? And I, I really couldn't give an answer, so I always said in the middle. It's in the middle. Um, it's, it's not tacky, but it's not 